All right, welcome everybody. This is Lorette and this is the Learning Tube. Welcome and I'm glad you are on the call. So what we are going to talk about tonight is called Facebook Instant Articles. Now, Facebook Instant Articles is a platform, it's a tool, it's something that Facebook has rolled out. And um, But the problem with it, which I'm going to talk to you about, is that it's really hard to use. And so there's this cool tool called Bolt Publisher. Now, we've done, I think we sent out a few emails on Bolt Publisher before. Some of you went ahead and grabbed it up. Um, and then we did a private webinar for those that didn't get Bolt Publisher to teach you how to use it. And so what we wanted to do was kind of reintroduce it for those of you that, you know, didn't see what we talked about before because it's a really cool tool and we're always trying to find out ways to get more traffic, right? Always ways to get more traffic and to stand out from other people, right? We want to do things that are different to grab people's attention. And one way to do that, we all know that social media is huge, right? We all know that Facebook is, you know, a dominating force when it comes to anything social media. So if you can do something Facebook related to grab people's attention, to drive traffic to your website or to wherever you want to drive traffic to, then it's definitely something that you should take advantage of. Okay, so I'm going to show my screen. It should be showing up in a minute. Now, have any of you heard heard about Facebook Instant Articles? How many people have heard about Facebook Instant Articles? Have you heard about it before? Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody? Okay, so everybody's saying nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right. So, well, that's actually a good thing because, like I said, you want to stand out from the crowd. You don't want to do what everybody else is doing. You want to do things that people are not doing. So you're different. And you know the people that are doing it are big businesses. And I'll show you some examples. People like CNN, um, uh, ESPN, like all these big companies, National Geographic, those are the people that are using this tool because it's so hard to use if you don't have a tool with Lightbolt Publisher. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So viral content, as you know, fuels the web, right? And Facebook is the biggest supplier of anything that has to do with viral. I know my screen is a little slow to catch up. <laughs> there it is. But Facebook's been putting money into mobile for a long time. And now it wants to make the web a better experience for all mobile users. So let me ask you, for those of you that are on this call right now, would you say that you access Facebook majority of the time on your phone or on your computer? So let's say like mobile or computer. Who? Just let me see what some people are answering. Do you, do you mostly access social media on mobile or on your desktop? Okay, so we got computer, mobile, mobile, depends on where I am. Computer, depends, depends, depends. Mobile, mobile. Mobile. Okay, so we got kind of groups of people. Mobile and computer. All right. So, so Facebook knows. Well, for them, um, according to their stats, majority of their users access social media on their phone. I know I usually access it on my phone as well, but of course it depends on where I am. But they're saying anytime someone on mobile clicks a link to your stuff and it doesn't load instantly, you lose. Studies show for every one second there's a delay in load time, conversion decreases up to 7%. Do you agree with that? I do. I mean, if I click on something and it doesn't load, I'm out of there, right? Especially on my phone, I'm like, I can't wait, and I just click on something else. Do you, is that sound familiar? If it doesn't load up, do you abandon it? People are saying yes, yes, yes. Right, I abandoned it. I don't want to wait for it to load. And they just lost me, right? And so Facebook knows that that's a problem. So right here it says, Facebook is out to solve that problem for you with its latest platform called Instant Articles. So in, in a nutshell, it's a distribution platform allowing marketers to share their content as native media with Facebook's mobile and messenger apps. So it's really this Instant Article is targeting people who are accessing Facebook on their mobile devices, 
right? So it says instant articles. It's better for people and better for publishers. Okay, so with instant articles, what it is, it allows you to publish articles on Facebook with a fast load time. That's basically in a nutshell. Okay, so here's the screen. It's 20% more clicks as people see instant articles in their news feeds. They read 20% more instant articles than mobile web articles on average. And they're getting this fact just because the way that it's formatted in the news feed, it's more desirable for people to click on because of the formatting of it. Okay, so it gets 20% more clicks. It says 70% are less likely to abandon. Once they click, they're over 70% less likely to abandon the article because they're not stuck waiting for it to load. Right? That's the biggest problem. If you are on Facebook and you are posting articles or like links to go read something on your blog or basically taking them out of Facebook, um, they are highly likely to abandon it. And then it says also with instant articles, they get 30% more shares. People share 30% more instant articles than mobile web articles on average, amplifying the reach of stories in your news feed. Right? So instant articles does all this for you. More clicks, people don't abandon it because it loads so fast, and 30% more people share it because it's easy to be shared the way that it is designed. Okay, so with instant articles, your content loads 10 times faster than standard web articles. Once again, Facebook knew that this was a problem with articles loading when they're on Facebook, so therefore they solved it with this instant articles. Viewers are 70% likely to stop reading, 20%, this is basically just this, the last screen that we showed, um, just formatted in a different way, and this addition here that it loads 10 times faster. Now, like I said, when they rolled out instant articles, they rolled it out with the intention of big companies using it, right? Like I said, ESPN, CNN, and Hootsuite. Hootsuite was using it. Now, all of you are probably familiar with Hootsuite. We've talked about Hootsuite many times. It's a scheduling tool for social media, right? So if you want to pre-schedule um, post on Twitter, on Facebook, and so forth. Anyway, it's a huge company. So they used instant articles, and um, they said that they did an experiment with it. They took a blog post that it had shared to Facebook three months earlier, then they reposted it with an instant article, and these were their results. 37% increase in organic reach, 22% increase in shares, 83% increase in likes, and 57% increase in link clicks. That's crazy. They said right here, they called it mind-blowing results. Just by using this platform, Instant Articles, versus just posting the article on their site. Okay? So with this in mind, marketers, internet marketers, you know they're always looking for a new thing to use or something different. Um, but when Facebook created this tool, it was so difficult to use. You have to have like an IT team do it for you. You have to be very technical as well. And so internet marketers, of course, wanted to utilize this tool, but knew that it would be too hard for the average person like me and you to use it and too costly. So they created this tool called Bolt Publisher. Okay. So here it is, Bolt Publisher. Facebook launched this instant articles very quietly because it was only really the target market was only a few, you know, only the big companies. So, and with this in mind, if Facebook saw a need for this tool, then it must be important. And once again, only people using it were big companies that had development teams because it just was not very user friendly. But 50, and you know, I was asked, I was saying before about how many people access Facebook on mobile devices. And according to VentureBee.com, 51.7% of Facebook users actively access the, no the network from a mobile device. So over 50% of the people are using their phone. And if you actually, if you use, we use eye contact, we have a lot of different auto email autoresponder systems, but eye contact is one of them. And eye contact actually shows you who opened the email, like how they opened it, on a tablet, on a computer, 
or on a smartphone. And we've had our last few emails that we went out, I've noticed, I've taken note, and about 75% of our emails are getting opened on mobile devices. That's another fact for you to see just to show you that you know more and more people are accessing stuff on their mobile devices. 75%, that's a big number. And here 50% are used, over 50% use Facebook on mobile. So here it says 934 million mobile daily active users, a 25% increase year over year. And that's just going to grow. I mean, there's just going to be more people on their mobile devices moving forward as computers just become more obsolete and tablets and so forth. And so problem um, is since things are going mobile, this user needs to make sure they have a great mobile experience, right? And that's, you know, not only do you see this with instant articles, but of course with websites and such, right? You can't have a website these days unless it's mobile friendly. If you created a website a few years ago and it's not mobile friendly, you need to stop what you're doing and create a website that is mobile friendly. Check out your website on your phone. Make sure that it loads properly and you know everything is easy to navigate and it's mobile friendly. If it's not, you need to urgently get a new website that's mobile friendly because that's where people are accessing things. Okay? So so they Facebook knew that, so they wanted to, so they created instant articles. But reading articles was not something that was easily done during mobile because the clink, they click on links and it takes them to another page. And the page forever to load or it just doesn't load at all right um, so here was another let's see here's another this is the New York Times did instant articles as well and here are some of their reports so like I said the big people are using it so they said they have 3.5 times more shares 2.5 times more likes 5.5 times more comments that's huge just by doing an instant article versus a regular link. So once again, just showing how powerful that is. Um, let's see, here's a, another case study again. Uh, this is just, you know, once again saying big increase in reach, shares, likes, as well as link clicks. So just showing you again the power of how powerful this tool is. Okay, so with the tool, with Bolt, so once again, Instant Articles is what Facebook rolled out. Bolt Publisher is the tool that helps you use Instant Articles. So one thing that's um, great with the tool is that you can instantly add these articles into the tool and it doesn't have to be hosted on a website. So you know a lot of times you, if you put a link, you send people to like your blog. You send people to your website. Well, when you're using this tool, you don't need to have a website. You don't need to have any of that. If you just want to write an article and have links going to maybe an affiliate program or you know links going to a YouTube or maybe links going back to some other Facebook page or wherever or a squeeze page, it doesn't have to. You don't have to have a website to use this tool. And you can you can quickly post via this app. And your, show, your article shows up in news feeds. This is an example of an of a instant article showing up in a news feed. And it gets 20% more clicks. So here's some other features. So first of all, you can do, you can inside this article, you can actually put videos. I'm going to show you some really cool things that it does. You can put videos that autoplay. So here's, I think, somebody surfing and it autoplays. You can tap to expand images. So if you put an image in the article, you can expand on the image. And here's a cool one called interactive maps. You can actually put a map in the article. Now, if you're trying to think of ways that this can be utilized for your business, let's say you have a local marketing business, okay? And you have, let's say, Joe's Plumber, okay? So you have an article, Joe's Plumber is your client. Okay? And he lives in Orlando, Florida. And you write an article for him, the five things to look for when hiring a plumber. Right? So you have this article writing up the five things to look for when hiring a plumber. You're going to be targeting, you can do a Facebook ad, right? And you can target homeowners 
in the Orlando area. You could do it, you know, by zip code or wherever in that vicinity. So they see this article. Oh, great. They're educating me. You know, people love to be educated. Okay. So this people that are homeowners click on this and they read about the five things that you need to know when hiring a plumber. And of course, at the end, it's going to talk about Joe's plumbing, right? If you need to, you know, if you need a plumber, click here to learn more about Joe's plumbing or something, or, or get a 15% discount on, you know, your next plumbing with Joe's plumbing. But you can put a map exactly where, you know, Joe is located, or, well, I guess you wouldn't need to go to Joe's if he was a plumber, but let's pretend <laughs> that you needed to go to Joe's plumbing shop. But you can put an interactive map there, and people can use that and you know can guide them and get directions right there in that article to go to the plumbing sh the plumber shop right so that's just an example of how you could use the maps or if you're having some type of event maybe and you want to put a map in there so you're having a I don't know craft show or something and you want to put a map in that article and people can see how to get to the craft show right that's a great example of using interactive maps inside of the article. Is that powerful? You guys following me? Any questions so far? Yes? Cool, cool, powerful, yeah. <laughs> All right. So think about how you could incorporate articles with what you're doing, right? Articles with your local businesses, articles with the, you know, whatever you're trying to promote. You can do articles to promote affiliates products, promoting your own products, right? So think about how you can incorporate articles into your marketing, right? So here's an example. Once again, I said the big companies are using it. This is CNN using instant articles, right? So you may have not seen some of these in your feed, but now that I'm pointing it out to you, you will more than likely recognize it. Okay, so it's hard to see. Uh, okay. So this bottom left, um, right above the emojis, you'll see a little lightning bolt, right? That little lightning bolt shows that it's an instant article. So next time you are going through your news feed, look for that lightning bolt and you will be like, oh wow, I just learned about that, an instant article, right? So that's the instant article. This is an example of it. Now when you go ahead and click on it, over on the right is what comes up. That's the instant article that they want you to read. And it comes up really fast. And you can see up at the top, there's a little arrow because that's actually a video that auto plays as well. Okay, so now this next screen is an example of something that is not an instant article, right? So here's an article right here. You can see there's no lightning bolt. And when you click on the link, over on the right, that's what comes up, a blank screen. I know you guys have probably seen that before, right? This blank screen. And you see that blank screen, you're like, oh, that's taking too long. And you just go and you do something else, right? That is the example of an instant article and a non-instant article. And I know you can relate to that. So that is why they created this, to eliminate this problem. Okay, so this is um, what the inside of Bolt Publisher looks like, and I'm actually going to walk you through it, uh, but just wanted to show that screen real quick. Let's see. Um, when you create the article, so let, I'm going to walk you through it, but after you create the article, you post it to your fan page or whatever page you want to post it to. And you now have two choices. You can leave it as is. If you get all, if you already get a lot of traffic to your Facebook fan page, that's great. And you're going to get organic clicks and organic visitors. Or you can boost the post to a target audience and do a Facebook ad, right? So you can do that. And when you're boosting, you have an opportunity to choose if you want to, like where you want to show it on people's desktop. You want to show it on the right hand feed. But you can also say you only want to boost it for mobile only because that's what this is really all about for people that are using it on a mobile device, right? So make note of that, that when you're boosting it, choose mobile only on where to display the ad, right? So this is an example of what it would look like 
when it is being when it's posted on your on your Facebook page, right? So it looks very appealing for people to want to click on it. So when you are creating these articles, if you saw you have that opportunity to do interactive maps on it, you could do the videos. Here are some other things. You can put in images, quotes. You can pull an Instagram, Twitter. You can do image with audio, maps, videos, buttons. You can even do ads. So it's interesting. When you do join this program, you get access to a private Facebook group. And with the private Facebook group, I was actually going through there today, and there was somebody that was doing these articles purely for the purpose of putting in ads on the article. And what I mean by that is that they could do an article on I don't know, plumbing, like I said, and then they can put some um, ad words into, into the ads or maybe affiliate banners or something. And their whole purpose is for people to click on specific ads in their articles. And the guy said he was making you know, over $100 so far just from the ads in the article. So he wasn't really even selling anything. He just said, and articles, which is pretty neat. Okay, you can also integrate these articles with your email. So you can create an email opt-in as well on the article itself. So as people are pulling it up on their mobile device and they are scrolling through it and they're looking through it at the bottom or at the top, you know, you can have a section in there for people to enter their name and email to get this article sent to them. Or maybe you can do an article that's like the top five things to look for a plumber, but if you want the complete 10 things to look for, enter your name and email, and it's all integrated into this article. Okay, so as we know, more and more, content is king, right? And educating people and giving them content is what gets people to keep coming back, right? So like we do these learning to these learning to trainings because we want to provide you with content, right? Knowledge is power. So also give that to your to the people that are reading these articles and who you're targeting. So educate your audience. People love numbers, like five reasons to whatever it is, or top five, you know, certain resources, right? People love anything with lists, and those are usually very um, highly high click rate on those types of articles. You can also do an article to invite people to a webinar. So you can say, you know, maybe you're doing something with social media, top five things to pay attention, you know, to get targeted Twitter followers. And then you can at the end say, hey, we're doing a webinar on how to gain Twitter followers, enter your name and email below. So you can do that all within the article, it integrates it. Now, here's just an example of one that we did. Um, this was, I didn't do any boosting or anything. This was just organic, okay? So the numbers aren't huge because this was just organic. But we did a post. So many of you know we have a, a tour company um, in Jamaica. And this is one of our tour, one of our attractions that we take people to. So we were educating people on the history of Rose Hall Plantation. And so we did an article on it, and we got 41 clicks. Like I said, not earth shattering, um, but this was just a post on our, on our page. But we got 41 clicks. And you can see down here the locations, Facebook 34. Dark traffic just means they don't know where it's coming from. And then there was a Twitter. Um, so I guess somebody shared it, maybe, and that's how the Twitter person came there. But out of those 41 clicks, inside the article, at the end, we had a link for people to learn how they can book a tour with us to go see this um, specific attraction. And five people clicked on that link. Now, ours is a little different. You know, it's not like an impulse buying, uh, you know, piece of jewelry. I mean, this is a tour in Jamaica. So, you know, it's a little harder for people to... Uh, you know, do something instantly with that. But we had a 12% click-through rate, which is amazing, right? So 41 clicks and five people clicked on the link within our article. So um, that's a great conversion um, for that. So with this in mind, we just need more traffic, um, and we would get even more clicks, would be, which would be even better. So, you know, that's with us testing it out. And... I am going to show you 
one second what it is all about. So one second, I'm going to open up Bolt Publisher. Give me one second as I open it up. All right, now the screen. So what do you guys think so far? Looks so looks pretty good. Looks pretty interesting. To want to learn how to use this tool? Yes, yes. All right. Well, I'm going to walk you through and show you. So let me see if we have any questions right now. Um, yeah. So we have a question here, Charles, saying, how do you target these articles to reach specific demographic readers? Well, you would target them through your Facebook ads. So when you're doing your Facebook ads, you can be specific on who you want to target, and that's how you would do it. So you're posting it to your page, and then you are boosting the post with your specific demographics. And I, I'll, I can show you that as well. So, but first, let me walk through a little bit here of how it actually works. Okay, so here we are. We are inside Bolt Publisher. And right here, you can click on, so this is inside. There is some setup stuff that you have to do. They walk you through how to set it up. They walk you through how to set it up and integrate it and connect it to your Facebook page and so forth. So once you do all that setup part, you do have to submit some articles to get approved by Facebook, which is pretty easy. Um, I think we submitted four articles, just basic articles, and they approved it. I think it took 48 hours for them to approve it. Once it was approved, it was done, and now I can do instant articles. We can do instant articles. Okay, so this is the one, the example one that I showed you. Let's see if I can pull that one up. Okay, so this Okay, so this is the example that I was showing you. Okay, so this was the article that we wrote on Rose Hall Gray House, talking about, you know, the all about what it was about. And then we put a video in here because we have a video that goes along with it. And then down here at the bottom, when you click on this, this takes you to our website on this specific tour that you can learn more about this, this attraction, right? So in order to do this, all I did is I typed in the article right here, and then here's an example of putting in the video. All you have to do if it's in YouTube, let's see, I'm going to click right here. Actually, let me go back to, so I just wanted to show you this one as an example, but I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I was actually had one in progress. Right, so right here is the top four top four waterfalls in Jamaica. So that's the next one that I was working on here. And let me see, the screen is still loading. Okay, so right here, top four waterfalls. I'm going to go ahead and click on an edit. And it was an article about the waterfalls in Jamaica. Okay, and so this is what it looks like. Now, I didn't put this in right here because I wanted to show you how to do it. So here's the different sections. And what I want to put right here is that we have a video of Secret Falls. So if I wanted to add a video in here, all I do is I click on this little plus sign where it says Edit Articles, and I can choose. I can put an image, a video, the map, all these different things, a pull quote, pull quote, sidebar, Instagram, Twitter, image with audio, here's where you can put an ad, you can do an email opt-in, you can do a button. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you the video. So we go, I put my cursor there, I click on video, and then this box pops up. So this is what happens when you do any of these. If you do an image, if you do anything, the box pops up here, and then you click on the little pencil to edit. Okay, now here on the left, it's going to ask you if you want to upload a video, 
you can put your YouTube URL, you can do Vimeo and so forth. And you can also enable autoplay. So what I'm going to do is, here is our video on Secret Falls. I'm just going to copy the link and I'm going to put it into this video URL. Okay, so let me let the screen catch up a bit. So I got the link from YouTube and I put it into the URL box over here on the left. And then I go ahead and click on the, the it says show in editor. Okay, and there's my video playing in the editor to so just make sure <laughs> it's what I um, wanted to play. Okay, so there's the video right there. And so I can enable autoplay or I can not enable autoplay, but I'm going to go ahead and enable autoplay and you can see the video is right there on the top. Okay. And now if you scroll down here you can edit just like any other device, any other type of tool that you can edit. Um, here you can edit images as well. So once I'm done with this YouTube, I just go back. And then if I want to add an image, I just put my cursor where I want the image to go. I click on image. And then once again, the little box pops up. I go ahead and I click on edit and it, you upload the image and then you can put the sizing in there as well. But we have an image so I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and delete that and you can see there's my image for that specific waterfall. Okay? So that's how easy it is to add the images. You saw I added the video and now down here you can add, this is where I added the button. Now if I scroll down you can see where it says button. Now if I click on that, just so you can show, here's where you enter the text for the button. And then here's where you put the link you want people to go. As simple as that. You can change the color here as well. And then you click on editor and you can see it right there. Simple, simple, simple. Okay? So that's how you add the button to get people to go wherever you want them to go. Where do you want them to go? To your website, to a squeeze page, to wherever, uh, your Twitter profile, wherever you want it to go, is that's how you can add the button. Really, really simple. Then here, right here, is where you can do an email opt-in, right? So if you're doing an article and you want them to opt-in to get the article, you want them to opt-in to do whatever, but you can put it directly into the article, which is huge and extremely powerful, right? So instead of even taking people away to a lead page, you put it directly into here. The less steps that you have to give that you give somebody, the better, right? The less steps, the better. So, okay, so the less steps you give people, the better it is. So as easy as that, and then you can do different things here, image with audio, you can see the Twitter, the Instagram, all these different things that you can do to make your article pretty and stand out, right? pretty and stand out. Anybody have any questions so far? If you want me to show you any specific feature here that I didn't that I didn't highlight, let me know, right? As I go through this, let's see. Okay, so how would you use instant articles to promote a store selling beauty products? Yep, so you could do an instant article. So let's say something beauty related. And let's say you're selling wigs, okay? So it could be uh, three, three of the top tips on finding the perfect wig or choosing the perfect wig. And the first one will be like, one, make sure that you have the proper wig cap size, right? That's something I learned about because <laughs> I didn't know anything about wig caps and how to properly, how to make it fit on your head because you, your head, you know, people have different size heads for wigs, right? Um, the other one is to, you know, maybe make sure, it, you know, is it a lace front or a non-lace front? These are all things that I was learning about too. So, you know, how to choose three ways to choose the perfect wig. And you could have these three ways on how to pick the perfect wig. And then at the bottom it can say, hey, you visit our store for 15% off um, your first purchase of a wig. Right? Because they just you just educated them how to pick a best one 
So now they're trusting you, and then you're saying, go to my website to save 15% on any wig in the store, right? And that's the button that it takes them to. Or you could say, you know, enter your name and email, you can put an opt-in right in it to get, you know, I don't know, 15% off your first order of a wig, and after they enter their name and email, the thank you page can be the store, right? So um, that is an example of how you could use that. So any type of article, or even it can even be an article um, that is, you know, shocking, some kind of, um, so I know that the beauty shop, they sell um, butt enhancement pads, right? People with flat butts want bigger butts, okay? <laughs> this is just how it is. So there are celebrities that, that wear butt pads, and there was actually an article about how a specific celebrity was wearing these butt pads and made her dress look so much better at the awards. So you could even have an article like that saying, whoever it is, I don't know, some famous person, you know, is wearing these butt enhancements, and that's what this article is about. And at the end, it could say, hey, get yours, click here for 10% off, and you can look like XYZ, right? So just look at articles that are on MSN, look at articles that are on other news channels, and use that as inspiration. That can be your instant article as well, driving people to your website. Okay, so you could do a lot of different things, educating people and then also just looking at what other people are writing articles. If you see an article on the front page of MSN or on any of those types of pages, then it must be a pretty popular type of topic. Um, and model that as an article that you could use. So for example, there was one for, you know, for our tour company, it was like Jamaica was named the top des tourist Caribbean destination for 2016. So we can make that an article, right? And at the bottom, we can just put, you know, for customized tours in Jamaica, visit our website, and you click and you go to the website. So we're piggybacking off of somebody else's popular article, okay? Um, so is this webinar recorded? Yes, it is recorded. How many should you post per day? Do you post it from your fan page first? Okay, so as far as posting per day, um, I wouldn't really put a number on it. Uh, of course, articles are different than Facebook posts saying, hey, this is what I you know, ate for dinner, um, as opposed to an article. I mean, I wouldn't post those as often as a Facebook status post. Um, but, you know, I, I would post them as frequently as you have them and do some boost posts to it as well. When you're boosting the post, you can target different audiences. So, you know, maybe your wigs would target a different audience than somebody buying uh, kids' hair accessories, right? So those are two different target audiences, so you could do articles, different articles to them at the same time. Um, as far as, oh, the recording. Uh, a lot of people ask about the recordings. If you guys want a recording, you can always go to thelearningtube.com, and you'll see up in the top right-hand corner it says Webinar Replays. That's where we always post the replays for these, the learningtube.com, and you'll see on the top it says webinar replays. Okay? So, and we also sent it out via email. Okay, so let me keep going. So here's the article right here. Okay, so this is the article, and as you, so you're finished with the article. You put all your information in, your quotes, your maps, your Instagram, your button, you know, all the stuff that you want to put into this article. And, and then you can put a header cover. So do I have a, I do have a header cover in here. And so if you need help with a header cover, because it does have to be a specific size, you can see it says recommended size 800 by 339. Now if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do that. Well, we've told you about the tool called Canva, right? Canva.com. Inside Canva, it's a free tool that you can use. We love it. Um, it's a free tool that you can use and you can make all these different graphic designs. But the best thing about it is that you can create one specifically the size that you want it. Okay, so when you create your canva.com account, you create your account, then you're going to see um, a page that shows you all these different templates that you can use. You don't want to use any of these, but up in the top right-hand corner, 
you can see a button that says use custom dimensions. And you can click on that and you can put in exactly what they recommended, 800, I believe it was 800 by 339, by 339, 800 by 339. You click on design and then you design your, uh, your banner, right? And so you can go ahead and upload images. You can do all types of things that you want to do here. You can do backgrounds. Um, you can see there's a lot of different free, back, free backgrounds that you can use. So you can play around with it. You can do different layouts. Um, yeah, so just, you know, you play around with Canva and you can create that for a header. Or you don't have to use a header at all. Right? Okay? So that's just an example of how you can create a header cover with the appropriate size. Okay? And that was canva.com. Okay? So now as you keep going down, you put the title of your article right here. Then you can, oh, it's still on Canva, but as you scroll back, as you're in Bolt Publisher, you scroll down and you can see there are the different sections here to enter in like your title, your subtitle, your author name, your author description, you know, just a few words on who this author is. You can do your keywords right in here. Um, and then you, at the bottom, you put in your publication date. So the cool thing is about it is that you can pre-schedule these. So you can do a bunch of articles at one time and pre-schedule them. So you can, you know, Charles was asking, how often should you do this? If you want to do one article a day and, you know, set them all to publicize, you know, one after another, you can do that, which is great. I love automation. Okay? So you go ahead and do that, and then you can save down here at the bottom, preview, and publish on Apple News. That's a new feature that they have. But let's go ahead and we can preview it. Okay? And let's see if it comes up. Okay? So here's the preview. Still loading, I know. So you can click on that. And you can see here's the little banner that I created in Canva. My sizing was actually wrong. I misread what he said. But um, there's a, the banner I created. You can see here's the video right there when it talks about Secret Falls. There are the other waterfalls. Now, you know, if I spent a little time, I can make this a little even prettier. Um, but I was just, you know, putting something together for the purpose of the webinar. And then here they can click on the bottom and it goes over to our website. So this is an example of um, an instant article, right? So that's the preview of it, okay? So now, after I preview it and I say it's all good and I like it, I can go ahead and click on Publish. And when I click on Publish, this automatically, because in the settings, it'll automatically publish into my Facebook page, right? It'll automatically publish into the Facebook page that I connected it to. Now, let's see. Go see that. Okay, so you should see my Facebook page in a minute. And here you can see I am in inside my Facebook fan page. And up here in the top right hand, top navigation, it says publishing tools. I click on publishing tools and I see down here which says instant articles, right? So over on the left, it says Instant Articles, and I click on Production Articles. Now here's that first one that I was showing you, the White Witch of Rose Hall, and then here's the one that I just did, Top Four Waterfalls in Jamaica. You can see that it is now um, produced, now uh, Facebook published it. Now after that happens, so it's now live and approved by Facebook, all I have to do is I go to my page, so now I clicked on page to go to my page, and what I want to do is I want to post this. I'm going to copy this link. And I want to post it onto my page. Okay. Oh, so side note. <laughs> um, you remember why I was saying people love to get um, anything with numbers, like five reasons for this, five reasons for that, or top ten. Here is a post that we did, ten, top 10 places to visit in Jamaica. And we did not boost this post or anything. It had 3,000 shares. That's 
crazy. For you guys that are, you know, familiar with Facebook, 3,000 shares is a lot of shares that we did not pay for. And 338 people commented on it. So that was a really, really good post. Um, but let's see. Sorry. I'm going down here. So I can go right here and I can paste that link. Okay, and this is what it would look like. Now, I told you I did the sizing of my header banner wrong, so it doesn't show up very good. Um, but this just is an example right here of what it would look like. So I can go ahead and I can click on Publish, and it will now publish on my page. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so let's see, you should be able to see that on your screen. I know it's a little slow loading, but you could even test it out if you go to our page on Facebook if you're on a mobile device <laughs> and you want to go check it out. You know, it's facebook.com slash your Jamaican tour guide and click on the article and see that it loads, um, how it loads, right? And so... After that, let me see. Uh, yep, so I just tested it on my phone and it literally loaded in like one second. And it looks great. I'm looking at it on my phone and um, it looks great. So if you look at it on the phone though, this is the one that does not have a video because I did publish this one before. I did not publish the video one that we just that I just showed you, you'll see one that's on there without the video. Um, so if you go to it and test it out, you will see that um, it loads extremely, extremely fast. Um, so I have a, somebody has asked me what kind of phone, just a smartphone. Um, I have a, a Samsung, <laughs> um, but any type of smartphone, it loads extremely fast. I just tested it and it would work perfectly. Um, so you know, if you want to test that out, uh, it's facebook.com slash your Jamaican tour guide and you can click on that uh, post that we just posted to see how it loads and what it looks like on your phone. Let me put that link in the chat. Okay, so that's the link and then if you um, want to test it out on your phone so you can see how it works. Uh, go ahead and do that, but it loads, loaded really fast and it is awesome, right? So that is what that would look like. And then if you wanted to target people, um, you can go ahead and click right here where it says boost post, right? So you can click on boost post. And when you do this boost post, Let's see, right here, you can create your new audiences. So you can click here and create an audience. I know Charles is asking me like that. So you can do create an audience and target the specific people you want to target. You can put in your budget. Oh, let me, I'm sorry, my screen was paused. One second should be loading up, but you'll see right there in the bottom right underneath the image, it says boost post. You can go ahead and click on boost post, and this is what will come up, and this is how you can boost your post. So you can click right here, create a new audience, and create an audience that's specifically targeted for this. Like when we do some, um, when we do some of our targeting for this, we specifically target, you know, tourists that are coming to Jamaica. And we target them by uh, some of the hotels that they visit and some of the keywords and so forth. We can set our budget right here. We can set for how many days that it's running for. Um, and yeah, and so you can see right here the mobile news feed, what it would look like. Um, yeah, so that's how you can uh, specifically target people, okay? 
I'm going to go ahead and cancel that promotion, but that is how you would do it. Uh, let's see. So with anybody, let's see. Yep, so here we go. So Frank has to leave us, so he is asking for the replay link. So once again, if you just go to thelearningtube.com, and in the top right-hand corner, it says webinar replays, and that's where all the replays are posted. So just remember thelearningtube.com, and you will be able to um, see that. Okay? All right. So let's see. So now let's go back. One second. So do you guys have any questions so far? What do you think? Was anybody able to test it out on their phone? All right. So with that in mind, once again, this is Bolt Publisher. And I think it is a great tool. We think it's a great tool. Um, you saw how easy it was really, how easy it was to use. Um, that is the link to get it if you like it, thelearningtube.com slash bolt. It's only $67 for unlimited views, unlimited fan pages, and so forth. So there's three different ones that you can choose from. Um, learningtube.com slash bolt is the link to go to. So if you want to get it, if you want to take advantage of it, it's a great tool. Once again, a lot of you, when I asked you if you even heard of what this was, you didn't. Um, so therefore, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing because it's not saturated yet, right? You don't want to have something that everybody else is doing. You want to stand out, right? So when everybody else is clicking on articles and they don't load, and they click on yours and it loads instantly, and you can have opt-ins in there. You can integrate it with, um, you know, you can have buttons, email lists, integrate it with AWeber, I mean with um, GoToWebinar. You can do all this fancy stuff in it um, that other people are not doing, and that's how you stand out from the crowd, right? So instant articles, um, the tool is called Bolt Publisher. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, so it's asking what's the upsell. There's actually no upsell. Um, I bought it one time and that's it, no upsell. So there's, like I said, there's three different levels. I would recommend the $67 one um, just because that one is unlimited. But if you know you're only going to use it for one, then you can just get the cheaper one. I think the cheaper one is $47. Um, but uh, it's a good tool. And it works. Like I said, if you want to go to that link and test it out on your phone, you can see how fast it loads. And you click on the button, it goes to the website, and everything works. Uh, and yeah, I, I, it's a great tool. So if you want to take advantage of it, go ahead to thelearningtube.com slash bolt. And there is no upsell. <laughs> um, it's just a one-time fee. You can add, add it to the Facebook group. The guy who created it, Justin Burns, is actually a really good friend of ours. Um, and some of you guys probably know him. Um, but yeah, so I definitely recommend this tool. And is any, what questions do you guys have? What questions do you have for me? Are you guys understand the power of it? Why you should use it? If you have a different, if you have a business that you're not sure on how you could integrate it with your business, ask me and we can uh, do some brainstorming right now on how you can integrate it into your business. You know, we just talked about how it can be integrated into a beauty store. Um, and you can see how we integrated it with, you know, our tour company. It can really be integrated with any type of business, um, any type of business. If you're selling information products, if you're selling physical products, I know we have a few people on here that sell physical Amazon products. You can do articles about that as well. So um, anything, you know, if you're selling kitchen gadgets, you know, how to say three ways to stay to keep your kitchen or organized and then you could you know offer your product right so there's always ways that you can integrate it so what questions no questions for me do you guys like this tool do you see how it could be integrated into your business yes all right great 
All right. Well, it looks like we don't have any questions. Hopefully this was eye-opening for you and you were able to get some good nuggets out of this and that you go ahead and snatch this up. It's a great tool, pretty easy to use, and it's just a one-time price, no upsells. And once again, you once you do the initial setup for it, they have tutorial videos walking you through it. It takes about two days to get approved from Facebook, and then you're smooth sailing. You can have auto articles set up, uh, posting throughout the entire month, um, and yeah, you saw some of the results that we got with it, and that was just not even doing anything. That was just posting it um, with no boosting to it. Um, so yes, yeah, hopefully you guys take advantage of it, and uh, let me know if you have any other questions. No? Okay, so, and once again, if you want, this of course was recorded, and the replay will be um, posted, um, usually within 24 hours. Just go to the learningtube.com, you'll see webinar replays up in the top right, and um, that's it. So let's see. Uh, it says two days approval only if you're new to Facebook. No, it's two days approval basically for everybody. Um, that's just that it took me two days to get approved. Um, you know, some people were faster. That's just you know uh, expect about two days to get approved. That's it. Um, let's see. I was not able. Is there a replay? Yes, it's recorded. The replay will be sent out within 24 hours. Uh, okay, I think that's it. All right, if anybody has any other questions. All right, well, thank you, everybody, and that was uh, Instant Articles with using the tool Bolt Publisher. All right, everybody, take care, and I will chat with you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.